my concern is that um, as an automation leader, I'm almost slicing people's jobs. So, you know, take somebody perhaps working in a call center. I'm taking away the, um, what might be the repetitive work, the basic work. And in, over time, increasing that work that they, remains is getting much more concentrated. Some would say doing higher value work, but actually it's probably dealing with calls that are more di difficult and testing. So what happens if you take somebody who has a balanced job? 50% of their work is really quite ordinary and easy to deal with and 50% is quite taxing. But if you, if you take away the repetitive work and you make 70, 80% of the job really quite demanding, it changes the nature of work. And I think there's a danger we, if we don't address the design of work, then we'll be creating kind of stresses and, um, uh, and retention issues in the, in the work that remains. So finding a balance between automation and the design of new jobs and creating balanced whole jobs is going to be very important. We need to get beyond organising and training people in the organisational silos around these technologies and look to train people so they can move seamlessly between, the, uh, between these technologies. And that's going to be really important as we start to develop automation platforms where we can take work and take AI, robotics, BPM, enterprise content management, data cap type tools, because clients aren't going to be willing to pay for five or six people um, to, do, to do some automation because each one of them has a particular specialism. I think we've got to increasingly be taking graduates and apprentices um, and, and training them to move seamlessly between the products so they can really engineer and build great jobs for themselves and careers for themselves.